Right, so today I want to um, upgrade my Max NC 10 mil, and I'm going to be doing that with some components I got from Max NC or Zymotion as they're called, uh, Zymotion.com. Um, so I'm going to be upgrading this part here, which is the um, one tenth horsepower motor. Um, I'm going to be upgrading it with this, which is substantially bigger and I'm hoping that will I mean I already cut aluminium with very uh, small um, uh, cutting steps with this thing but I'm hoping with uh, with this new motor it'll beef things up a bit I mean this is um, it's here we go one, one, one fifth of a horsepower rather than one tenth of a horsepower so sort of double the power um, and what I got from Zymotion was uh, the motor, the legs, and the um, the sort of far, um, feet at the bottom, with the uh, the gear on the bottom to to turn them up. Uh, what else do we have? We have the spacers. They're anodized black. I think their new models of CNC mills are actually black, most of them. But I think they're going to go in here and just bring. The head outwards a bit. We've got a new pulley for the spindle. It's going to replace that. That's toothed, so you don't have the speed selection that you had with this one. So I'm, I'm wondering what difference that'll make. Uh, but we'll see. I bought a couple of belts. I thought I'll just get a couple because they're shipped from America. I don't know if you can get them in the UK or Europe, but it's worth a try. I'll have to have a look at what type they are. I don't know if, I believe UNC or something like that. Um, screws, which I'll be using to fix it all on. And that's about it. So, first things first, I've got to strip this all off. Okay, so I've got the head off, and it's quite an interesting thing actually. It's pretty heavy. You can see the um, the bearings in there. You can see how it all goes together. I've got to get this off, which is kind of stuck on a bit. So that's the next task. Um, these are the spacers that originally went up here, and the, and basically would give clearance uh, to bring the motor off of the stepper here. So these will give more clearance basically and just allow us to have the bigger motor clearing when we're up the top. It will go up and down like that with a Z axis and we'll be clearing with a greater degree of, uh, of space. So I'll just clean this all up and then on to the next stage. Okay I finally got um, this off took some doing, you can see some marks there where if I, I didn't mark this luckily, a tiny bit. Um, this all looks good, the bearings look good, so I'm just going to make sure everything's clean and then pop this on. Okay, so I've pretty much almost got the head back on, um, I managed to get this thing back on. I don't know how it would ever come off, it's very, very tight, um, so pretty much an interference fit. So I just put some grease on it and just used a rubber mallet to softly knock it on while supporting underneath to not damage the bearings. Um, while this is all off, I'll take the opportunity to tighten all these up. I'd like to replace these actually with something a bit more substantial at some point, these couplings. Uh, that's really it. So we've got the spacers in now. So we've got the... So this is a, a bit further this way now, but obviously we've got the... Uh, travel here to take that up So just the motor and belt back on now Okay, so I've got it back together um, It's quite important to get the get the belt right really because you don't want it so tight that you're putting force on the bearings um, But you don't want it obviously loose as well. It will stretch a bit when it gets used 
Um, actually, if you press, if you switch this on, it does jump a bit anyway, or it always has done. So you can see it's all working. So the next test will be to have a go at cutting with it. Have a go at cutting some aluminium or nylon, something chunky.